Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to set up a simple website on a Pi 5. I finally got some in. Um, I did want to show a more advanced version of setting up a website. I'm going to set up a website across the two of these devices that is going to be um, uh, running off of a floating IP address. Um, that way, if one of these goes offline, it switches to the other one, vice versa. Um, I wanted to show off the Pi 5 and how fast it is, but I didn't have any other products I could show. So I figured setting up a highly available website on the Raspberry Pi 5 uh, would be an interesting thing to look at. So let's take a look at how to do that. We're going to start with configuring the first Raspberry Pi 5. We're going to switch over then to the second one. All right, guys. So I'm only going to show this step once just because of how similar it's going to be between the two Raspberry Pis. We're going to install, um, let's do Ubuntu 22.04. Let's go to general purposes, Ubuntu. This is the Raspberry Pi imager. Um, we're going to go Ubuntu server. Um, let's do 2204 LTS server. Um, 64 bit. Okay, let's do that one. We're going to use the SD card. I'm not going to pre-fill the Wi-Fi password. We're going to say this is, um, we're going to say this is server 01. Enable SSH. I'm going to type in, type in our username and our password. Uh, set locale settings, that's fine. Save, write. So basically what I just did there was a super fast setup of the SD card that we are going to use for this Pi. Like I said, I'm only going to show that setup once. So um, it's pretty basic. And the next one I'm going to say server02 as the name, obviously, because we're going to have two web servers in this configuration. So. I'm going to get this card going, I'm going to get the other card going, and then we're going to continue on with the setup process. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to install a virtual IP address between the two Raspberry Pis, as well as install a web server. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to install all of the packages that we need. We're going to say sudo apt install nginx keep lib lib ip set 13. I'm going to copy all of this. I'm going to say dash y. And I'm going to paste it in here. Dash y. So this is running on both of these servers. On the left is server 1. On the right is server 2. Now, as you can see, I can already type in the IP address of one of the pies. But we need to have it so that there is a shared IP address between the two. That way there is redundancy there. So we're going to say sudo nano dash etc dash keep alive d dash keep alive d dot conf just like this. I'm going to run this on both of them. And we're going to paste this in right here. And we need to modify this one a little bit. We're going to say this is the backup. And this code is all available on my website, by the way. So if you want this code, you can download it there. And just flip the two IPs. The peer is going to be server one. Source is going to be the actual device. So as you can see here, the source is Server 1, peer is server 2, virtual IP address is um, dot .107, and that will be shared across the two. So control X, Y, enter, control X, Y, enter. Now we're going to say pseudo system CTL enable dash dash now, keep alive D. And we're going to copy this over to the other one as well. Okay, so at this point, you should be able to ping it in it right there. As you can see, the IP address came online, which is awesome. So next, we're going to want to configure an Nginx web server. We're going to say sudo nano dash etc dash Nginx sites dash enabled dash default. Once again, I'm going to run this on both of them. Let's scroll down. We're going to change the server name to be the IP address. Now you don't have to do this. I'm doing this to make it a little bit easier just as a demonstration. Typically you'd have your server name be your website. We're going to do control X, Y, enter, control X, Y, enter. And now we're going to go and edit a file that will show us a easy demonstration of which server is active. We're going to say sudo nano dash etc dash, sorry, var www.html and this index dot nginx file here. We're going to add a heading. Okay, so we're going to add a heading to both of these. That way we have an easy way to see which server is active. We're going to say pseudo service nginx. 
sudo service nginx reload. And now if we go here to Microsoft Edge, as you can see, this is currently running on server 02. And it looks like it's staying on there for a while. So now we're going to go here. We're going to unplug server 02, which is this one right here. Let's go back to our pings. As you can see, it dropped for a second as it was failing over, but now that it's failed over, it's back online. We can reload the page, and there's server 01. If we plug this back in, it should stay on server 01. As you can see, it dropped there as it reconnected, but if we reload the page, we are actually back on server 02. And the reason that it is going back to server 02 is because I forgot to set the priority on this one lower. So although this says state for the backup, the priority will obviously take priority. So I'm going to set this to 100. Pseudo system CTL restart, keep it live D. And now we should be on server 01, as you can see. If we unplug server 01, we are on server 02. So just like that, you can have a highly available web server. You can put your web files on this server, on server 01, and they can sync to server 02. That way, if server 01 goes offline, you have a backup server that is live and ready to go. So that is about it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Um, these Pi 5s have been super fast for me, um, and they've been a lot of fun to work with. So if you have any products you want me to try on them, let me know. Um, but hopefully this helps if you've ever wanted to create a highly available web server. So, yep, that is all. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.